everybody. Um, organized chaos over here. <laughs> um, so, okay, a few things, right? Uh, so I'm still working on these, sort of. I'm working on some like doors and window designs and like want to make a more elaborate kind of shop front thing. I also ordered some little scale model railroad um, windows that are like plastic and then they're really nice. Um, so I might design, you know, I'm still working with these designs. Um, so I wanted to do something that was kind of simple like just doing um, another building while I'm waiting for those to show up. Um, so I'm, I'm making these little kind of lean-to things that it could be like a, a woodshed or, I don't know, like an outhouse or whatever, just some kind of little thing that would go on the side of things or just be an open air thing. Um, so I changed my design on this one. This one kind of warped like crazy. Um, I, uh, I'm using, this is a scale um, model railroad bead and batten or board and, board and batten, I'm not sure which it is. But um, it's, uh, this stuff is very, very thin. It's like two millimeters and it's scribed, so like maybe one millimeter thick. And then I've got three millimeter basswood that's been engraved. And then the engraving goes a good portion of the way through. It's almost like halfway through, which is what I wanted, right? Because I want to be able to like, you know, since it's real wood, like you can just come in and like cut into, or like make, define these, uh, these little boards or like make them weathered and stuff and like stain them and stuff like that. But it wants to warp, right? So, so I don't, I'm not sure if it's because this time I put this together using some wood glue. Um, so I'm not sure if that's why it's warping like that, but I changed my design anyways. So I've got some more, you know, good pieces to glue up. Um, but I want to use this to try some paint stuff to experiment with painting. Um, so what I was doing, right, is that I was trying to get this chipped paint, this uh, this like nice weathered, uh, cracked chipped paint thing going on. And I tried a few different things. So um, what this is, is, uh, is, is watered down wood glue, or it's like wood glue that's spread very thin. But also, this is um, two layers of paint. So this is MDF, right? It's just an MDF cut off. And then um, what I tried was pumping the MDF, putting a layer of acrylic down on the, on the MDF, and then putting um, some kind of medium in between, and then putting another layer of paint on top, right? So this is wood glue. Right, and then uh, this is, uh, let's see, that's uh, uh, Mod Podge. So you can see like this very, very thick, like heavy cracks, this, you know, it's sort of like, like Mod Podge is, it's basically is glue, and then it has, they say like water-based glue sealer and finish, right? So basically what Mod Podge is, is just like a mix of PVA glue and then acrylic medium. That's basically what it is. But you can see that this is, Mod Podge is like thin and runny. It's like if you mixed Elmer's with um, um, acrylic medium. That's basically just what it is. And then wood glue is going to be very, very thick and goopy, right? And it's it does a good job of gluing up thicker pieces of wood, but it, I, I glued this up with wood glue and then it worked like crazy. So I wanna try, I wanna see if I can glue it up with super glue instead, see if that makes a difference with the warping. I also changed the design a little bit I, um, so that, to help with that too. 
but um so uh, my favorite well and then this is just this is watered down pva glue with no um just uh the paint on top of it and then that didn't really do anything and then this is uh this stuff it's this um crack crackle medium so the um what that does is it well so you have to put down two layers of paint though right so you have to put down one layer of paint then you put down the medium in between and it's slightly glossy has this slightly glossy finish and then you put paint on top of it and then the paint just it, it dries unevenly they have different drying like different drying times or it just creates like a little oil slick that the paint just doesn't want to dry evenly and then it cracks right it's a little bit hard to see but it's it looks really nice this this crack crackle right so what i what i tried doing was um i took some pieces of um uh, uh popsicle sticks you know craft craft sticks and then i put um let's see this one i think is just not really sure. I think that this is just trying the um, trying this chalky finish paint, and then that's it uh, to see if that would crack at all. To see the finish of it. Uh, so it does look like a sort of more like a whitewash, like an old kind of weathered whitewash, which is the look that I'm going for. But then uh, I tried. Um, let's see. This one is just stained. This one has a wood stain on it. And then I put the paint on top of there. So it was supposed to just create like kind of an oil slick thing where it just, the paint wouldn't accept that well into the wood. And it didn't at all. Like it just repelled the paint. So that's a fail. And then the other thing that I tried was the, just pumping this stuff. This, uh, I have two of them. I have the full cart version and then I have the Art Minds version. Um, I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby and I think I got this one at Michael's. So, you know depending on who you have close to you. But, so this one, yeah, this is the Art Minds one, this one. And then you can see that it did crack. It did do that chipping paint thing. You can see it. And then this one is the, uh, the full cart version. And then they both just, they both do the same thing, right? So I wanted to get that look. <laughs> I wanted to get that cracking uh, kind of look on my uh, scale uh, clapboard. And this is not actually the scale clapboard, but it has a similar kind of texture. I just found a bunch of this stuff on the super cheap. So I was playing around with it, just experimenting with it. So I did a few versions, you know, I, this, this is pumped full of a good layer of this stuff, right? Um, but there's no layer of paint. There's no layer of acrylic. And then it's it's just wood, this stuff, and then paint on top. So on these, the paint didn't chip. It didn't crack. And I think it could be partly like a surface area thing. Um, it could be partly because the this just like it warps and bends and... Um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't dry unevenly because it sort of accepts the paint and then it, it you know, it, it warps with it and stuff. So it doesn't crack the way that it's supposed to. But what I want to try with these is I want to try, because this is one solid piece of wood, all of these are, I want to see if that makes a difference and see if putting this stuff, pumping the, this into here will make a difference and get the get the paint to crack and chip like this on this stuff on this solid um you know these solid pieces so that's what's going on um all right so first off and i'm going to use this piece to experiment with because um i changed my design so um now first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump this full of some stain. Um, so I'm going to use my my rubbing alcohol 
and uh, ink stain. And just gonna slop it on. So that just kind of gives it that um, like aged wood look. Um, and but you know this is the this is the cool thing. These are some of the cool things that you can do with these these wood kits because it's real wood. Um, is you can stain it and then you can you know you can go in with like an exacto and you can pick out boards and stuff and like do. Um, you know, you can put like little nail holes and like all kinds of cool stuff. So, and then I also wanted to see if, since I'm using this rubbing alcohol stain, I wanted to see if that reactivated the glue in here and then made these fall apart. Because I might tell people to put these together differently depending on what this does. So, okay, I'll just go around and I'll stain this guy and then let it dry and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so this is dry enough. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the rubbing alcohol just evaporates very, very quickly when it dries. So it also doesn't raise the, the wood grain as much like, um, you know, watered down paint or something like that. It won't make things warp quite as much. Um, so the, the, the rubbing alcohol is not destroying the wood glue. And I'm not, I don't hate the warping. It's just like when it warps like that, that much, it doesn't look realistic. I mean, it should be just slightly warping if it's a wood structure like that. But um, so the way that this stuff is supposed to work right? Is that you're supposed to put down one layer of paint, put it in between, and then put another layer of paint on it. So there's no layer of paint here. This is just the stain and then wood. So the wood wants to really accept this stuff. There's no barrier. Like there's nothing keeping it from soaking into the wood instead of doing its thing, you know, on the surface, like it would if there was a, a barrier of um, acrylic. So I'm gonna try pumping it full of this stuff. I'm gonna put a lot, a good, good layer of this on. Um, and then you can see what it, what it looks like. It's, it uh, kind of, it's kind of glossy. It's like a, almost like a, like a gloss medium. Doesn't really have any odor to it. It smells like, um, it smells like, like, PVA glue. It smells like Elmer's glue. I imagine that maybe the gloss even has something to do with the cracking, like it um, creates less surface tension or something. I'm not really sure. But, okay, so I'm just going to put a good layer of this stuff on uh, to just get the, the best chances that I can to uh, to get this stuff to, to chip and crack. So it doesn't really seem like it's warping more. I mean, the, the stain is making it warp more than anything. So I was hoping that once these were glued up, like that this was, since this is thicker, that it wouldn't warp quite as much, but um, but we'll see. We'll see what this does. Okay, the other experiment that I wanted to try, the other part of this two-part experiment, um, is I wanted to try my black super glue, and then see if that helps the warping. So the way that the kit is supposed to go together is that these get sandwiched together first. These pieces, these big panels. The thing with the super glue is that 
it just immediately cures like when it's two pieces of wood like this. So it's kind of, you have to commit. <laughs> uh, doesn't have a lot of working time. Pop one of these on, maybe a couple. And go down, go around and do that with the rest of these. Okay, so I, um, I went ahead and glued these up using my uh, black super glue and uh, no warping. So I think I'm just gonna tell people that's how, that's the best way to do these. Let's just use super glue. So interesting. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm gonna glue this, the rest of this guy up real quick. And then I, I um, put a little like slot in for some strip wood like at the top and kind of changed my design a little bit. Um, And yeah, so these just kind of slot in together. They so underneath that black shows through, then it just looks like some like pitch or something. Okay, I screwed up. I, um, <laughs> I cut this piece for, I changed my design, made this a little bit longer, um, but still no warping. <laughs> I, I cut this pe or, uh, this is like the, for the original roof shape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this guy. Fix that later. Just have a couple of these lean-to things. I don't hate the warping at all. I think it actually looks kind of cool. Definitely going for more of a weathered look anyways so this short one goes on that side. Okay. So the other thing that I made, where are they? Um, I did some shingles, some like laser, my own laser cut shingles. Um, so I am not going to use um, super glue to put these on. I'm gonna use, I think I'm just gonna use some Mod Podge black. <laughs> so this is just black paint mixed with Mod Podge. Put that on. And then this is just uh, construction paper, but it's 
cut down to the, um, all right, uh, you know, cut it into strips with the laser. Okay, so the way that this is supposed to work is that uh, it goes on like that. Right, the bottom, the bottom one goes on first. So I'm just gonna put that one layer on the bottom. And then they get offset. So next one on top. And that one needs to go slightly. To one side or the other. that and then if I want to I can go back over it with the black uh, Mod Podge to just kind of seal everything down to get that shingle look or like tar paper kind of look Keep going. Okay, so that's with the, the roof on. And, um, you know, like, it doesn't look bad at all. It's like bare wood. But I do want to try, um, try this crackle thing. I have to see what's making this stuff warp. If it's just the stain or if it's the wood glue oh, I'll try it on this one but okay so I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna use this chalky finish stuff because I've had the best results with this getting it to chip um, okay so I can use this and then um, I'm going to go this direction. I'm going to go with the grain um, because uh, the, the paint will crack that way. It'll crack along the grain. And also this does have a grain to it. So, um, all right, let's give it a shot. And then... Also, so I want to t start at the top, right, and then go down because the the paint should have better coverage on the top, and then kind of work my work the paint off the brush as I go down. So because this um, the the wood would get more eroded on the bottom. Then uh, on the top where it's like protected by this little bit of awning right here. So I'll just load up my brush and then work downwards. I'm going to touch this up later too. does seem like it's actually already starting to kind of do its thing a little bit. And I think that that's because this is a solid, this has more surface area. So it kind of has a better chance to do its thing. Okay. 
Okay, so um, this one I just hit with some stain. And man, I really like it. I really like how that looks. Like just with some stain. Because it, it uh, you know, it looks like old barn wood. It's perfect. Um, so I, I went ahead and I cleaned this one up, you know, hit the, uh, hit the edges and stuff. And I did a little dry brush on the, um, on the shingles and, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could like sort of, uh, I could do more, but, um, the, the paint is not chipping. So that's like the long or the, the short version, right? Um, this stuff, it just, it needs a layer of acrylic paint and then another, a layer of this and then another layer of a paint on top of it to do the chipping thing. So that's just not going to work for what I want to do. But it does have, a, you know, a nice weathered, like kind of whitewash look. And then, you know, if I want to, I can like go in and kind of like just draw in some cracks and stuff if I really wanted to. But it's not, um, it doesn't look like, uh, it's not like cracking like how I want it to. But, uh, but I really like these little lean-to buildings. Uh, I'm still working on this design and um, so I think that um, I like the addition of like the strip wood and stuff and like this has been stained and then it's been glued up and everything and the um, the only difference is, is that I put this one together with super glue instead of um, wood glue. So the wood glue was the thing that was making everything warp. I mean, once it's put together, I do see a little bit of warping, but that that has to do too, I think, with the, the kerf, you know, from the laser. Um, like on these, uh, these pieces. So anyways, yeah, um, I'm gonna keep working on these, keep designing more buildings and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, you guys. So take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. I'll uh, I'll post some pictures of what these look like too, some uh, some close-ups. So okay, see you next time.